freak out for your next consideration. Um, we are still talking about geometric series. Remember that geometric series do not have a common difference, but a common ratio. And that common ratio is a non-zero factor. So we're given two terms, and we can be given any two terms in a geometric sequence. And from there, we can set up a system of equations and we can solve for the unknowns. The unknowns being a sub one and also the common ratio that's missing. So let's start by setting up everything that's given. Um, so the first thing that we know, we do know this. We know that a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. This is just the general um, form of a geometric series. So if a sub 4 is 125, so 125 equals a sub 1 times r, and then 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. There's the first equation, so one equation, two unknowns. Therefore, we need a second equation. So let's go to a sub 10. a sub 10 is 125 over 64. That's equal to a sub 1 times r to the 10 minus 1, 9. So here are my two equations. And let's start by solving them both for a sub 1. So to solve the first one for a sub 1, we just need to divide both sides by r to the third. So a sub 1 equals 25 over r cubed. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So we're just going to divide both sides by r to the ninth. So now we've got both equations solved for a sub 1. So if we do some substitution here, a sub 1 is clearly equal to itself. Therefore, by substitution, so reflexive property, then by substitution, 125 over r cubed equals 125 over 64r to the ninth. So this becomes an equation to solve. So let's do that by cross multiplying, but don't go as far as multiplying the numbers together. Leave everything factored. So I'm just getting my paper squared over here. So here we go. So here is 125 times 64r to the n equals 125r to the third. So set the cross products equal to each other. Now let's start dismantling this problem. So first of all, let's divide everything by 125, which cancels the 125s. And now let's divide everything by 64. So now we've got r to the ninth equals r to the third over 64. Let's keep going. Let's isolate the r's. So let's multiply both sides by one over r to the third or just divide both sides by r to the third. So now we've got, and I'll squeeze it on the bottom, r to the sixth equals 1 over 64. So if r to the sixth equals 1 over 64, we just need to raise both sides to the, um, not raise, well, we could raise to the 1 sixth power or just take the square root. So basically what we're getting here, um, 64 is 2 to the sixth. So we're ending up with r equals 1 half. We just found r. So our common ratio that these factors are changing by is that they're just, we're just taking half every time. So r is 1 half. Okay, well, if r is 1 half, let's go back and let's look at maybe the simpler of the two equations that we wrote. I'm going to go with that one on the left. And I'm going to plug back in r equals 1 half because we still need to solve for a sub 1. So 125 equals um, a sub 1, so a sub 1 times um, r, which is 1 half, to the third power. So let's see. 125 equals a to the 1 half. 1 half to the 1 third is 1 eighth. 
times 8 times 8, 8 times 125 is 1,000. So a sub 1 is 1,000. So we're trying to find a to the 14th and a to the n, or a sub n, a sub 14 and a sub n. So we now know a sub 1, we now know r, now we can handle that second bullet point, a sub n here. a sub n for this given information is going to be a sub 1, which is 1,000, times r, which is 1 half, and then to the n minus 1. So there is one of the answers that we're looking for. Now that we know that, we can use that to find our first bullet point, which is a sub 14. So let's do that right down here. Squeeze it on. a sub 14 equals 1,000 times 1 half to the 14 minus 1. So go to my trusty calculator. Turn it on. So. One half, uh, let's just do 0 0.5, 0 0.5 raised to the 13th power. And if we go math, enter, enter, hopefully it's going to give us a fraction. 1 over 8,192. So a sub 14 equals 1,000 over. 8192. Now obviously this will simplify, so let's go ahead and simplify it. I'll use my handy calculator. This time I'll go to, whoop, still the wrong thing. Let's go to the fraction key and let's plug this in, let it simplify it for us. 1000 over 8192 and that reduces down to 125 over 1024. Simplest terms which makes sense given that a sub 10 given that a sub 10 was 125 over 64 basically that power of 2 is just increasing on the bottom so there you go that's how you can be given any two terms in a geometric sequence and find the general term as well as any other term in that sequence